So I'd like to briefly talk about modules because modules are very important to setting up Zoop's website. So if we go to modules, and with modules, if you log into the Zoop's uh, page, let's go here. So we've gone into the Zoops uh, website here, the home page for Zoops, and as you can see, the uh, Zoops uh, website has a lot of information. If we go down here to our left, we can see downloads and then click on modules. It has a lot of very useful modules that you can use. This is the Zoops module repository, and if you scroll down, you can see there are, there are tons and tons of modules that you can download and then upload into your Zoop site in order to allow your site to function and to give it lots of useful functions. Once you have downloaded your uh, Zoop's uh, module, what you do then is that you upload the module into your uh, Zoop's modules folder. So here we, we're opening the FileZilla FTP client. I have uh, spoken about how to use this piece of software previously. If you want to take a look at that previous video. So what you can do now is you can click on test to, to um, open our site if we can. Let's Okay, so we've opened our uh, Zoops um, website through test, and then you click on modules here, and what you do is from, from, from your uh, whatever folder the module you've downloaded into, you, you upload the folder of the module into this um, system folder. You have to be careful. Sometimes when they, uh, when they first, I believe it's a zip file that they give you to download, you unzip it. But when you unzip it, sometimes you don't upload load the whole folder. You just upload uh, the folder that has the module itself, uh, which is sometimes uh, one or two inner folders into the actual folder that you downloaded. Uh, there should be, uh, oftentimes there's readme instructions on how to upload it or use the module. So what you do is you upload it, and once you've uploaded it, you can uh, go back into your uh, uh, module's preferences. Um, right, so we're right here. So what it'll do is that an, I an icon with the module will appear down there, and you just click the installation icon to install it, and you just follow the instructions there, and after it installs, it should appear up here with your module. And then, once again, you should have an icon, and that icon uh, should uh, appear also uh, here, and also on the left menu, too. And then you can... Uh, uh, you can go into the module and then edit the module itself. We can uh, go into a little bit more detail about uh, module uh, downloading and installation when we actually uh, have an example module to show you. So thanks for listening today. Goodbye.